Good evening. Tonight, I can report to the American people and to the world that the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, the leader of al-Qaeda. On May 2, 2011, President Obama addressed the nation on the death of Osama bin Laden. Political science professor Alan Sachs gave the opinion on how Osama bin Laden's death may affect the 2012 election and al-Qaeda. In the short term, politically, which is not what a lot of people ought to be thinking of at this time, but politically, President Obama is going to get somewhat of a boost out of it. But what I've read, the boost is not that great all of a sudden. It's gone up a little bit, but not as great. I, was, I would have thought that it would zoom, you know. Yeah. But uh, it apparently has not done that. He's going to get a little bit of a political bounce out of it. Whether or not this is going to stay, the staying power of this is difficult to know and how much the approval rating will help. But more importantly, is what does it do to terrorism around the world? I think symbolically, it takes the wind out of it for a while. But I'm not as euphoric as a lot of people are that somehow Al-Qaeda is now dismantled. I don't think it's true at all. So I think that symbolically, we've taken a lot of wind out of Al-Qaeda and terrorism. But as far as their overall ability to strike and their influence in various parts of the world, it's probably still there. One UTA student talked about how she found out about bin Laden's death and gave her opinion on what may happen next with Al-Qaeda and the Middle East. Just pretty much Facebook and then my parents called when they found out his death. I, I don't think it, it's going to make a huge impact. Like it's kind of fishy already, but like I feel like all of his followers are already like really kicking it up. Like I have a friend in Iraq and I have friends in Pakistan and everywhere that are like being attacked right now, even more than they were. So it's kind of I don't know, I feel like it's kind of had a negative impact almost. Professor Sachs gave his opinion on the similarities between bin Laden's death and the capturing of Saddam Hussein. It's hard to compare Saddam Hussein to Osama bin Laden, both real villains uh, and both very um, big emotional reaction afterward. And I remember when they captured Saddam Hussein, um, it was very dramatic and he appeared on television. Later on, of course, he was executed by the Iraqis. Um, and it was captured on a cell phone, you know, talk about technology. Not the actual hanging, but everything leading up to it at least was released. Mm -hmm. So pretty gruesome stuff. Uh, now, by the way, whether or not we'll see the photos of Osama bin Laden, uh, by the time this interview is done, that may have been decided. It's hard mm -hmm. to know because some people say if they show the photos, it may enrage the Muslim world, you know. Other people are saying, well, you've got to show them or else a lot of people aren't going to believe it, you know. Mm -hmm. There's always those conspiracy theories. <laughs>